Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain about the uh, functions which are very useful for a list in Python. Okay, so let me create uh, one of the list here. Say for example, L is equal to, we need to use the square brackets, right? Say something like apple, I'm taking some data here. Say 45, say 56, I'm just taking the random data, okay? So some, some data I'm taking, say something like uh, Bangalore, okay? So let me store this, okay? So if I wanted to see the output, so this is how I can see the output. So let's see if some of the functions here. So if I wanted to add some data, I can use a function called append function. So when I use the append function, what is what will happen is the data is going to add at the end of the, okay. So end of the list, say if something like, uh, I will write some name, some person name uh, like John, uh, any name actually you can write, any, any data you can write actually, okay. So now let's see L, yeah. so whatever the data you are adding, it's getting added. So dear students, from, from now only, you know, you just put a pause to the video, go, go and get your pen and a paper and start writing the functions, okay? And so now let's start with the next function. There is a, a insert function. So if you wanted to insert the data at a specific position, okay? So at the first position, I wanted to insert some data, say for example, uh, say I wanted to uh, write uh, one one more person name say for example Abdul say Abdul I wanted to write okay so this is the data which I am inserting right but what I need to do is I have to specify the index position here so this is index position so index position actually Apple is at zero right so now the Abdul is going to come at the index position zero so now I think you we got the difference between the Append and insert. Append means at the end of the list you can add. Uh, insert means at required position. Okay, so not only zero I mean here you can write the whatever the index position you write. So the, there your data is going to get inserted like this. Okay, and uh, next uh, let me show you one more uh, data here. Say for example some list I will create. Say four comma five comma six comma seven comma eight. Okay, so first I just created some list here. And next, uh, what I'm going to do here, l dot extend. Okay, so there's a function called extend function is there, extend of m. And now you see here, this is done, and now you just see this. Okay, so what is the uh, function of uh, extend function? So you are extending this this list with this data, with this with the another list, right? So whenever you wanted to add single element at the end, use the append function. When you wanted to add the data at a specific position, use the insert function. Whenever you wanted to extend your list, okay, from another list, then use this function. Okay, so m is just a list I just created and I am showing you how to extend the list called l. And I am just printing it l and you can see it got extended, you can see that. Okay, next. Uh, how to remove okay the elements say for example pop is a function uh, say l dot pop so i mean if you use the pop function uh, without any parent without any uh, you can say without any argument so it is going to remove the last element okay so if i say again l dot pop so it's going to remove i mean it, it's just showing you what item has been removed also it is just showing you right okay you can just check that so now this is what the data we have so next, uh, if you say l dot pop of say for example uh, index position zero, and let's see uh, what is going to happen. So you can specify the index position and remove the required data. Okay, the, the data what you wanted to remove. Okay, so that's what happened. Next, there is another function same like this. Uh, you have a, a remove function. Is there remove remove of say for example index position two? And this is 0, 1, 2. So 56 has to be removed, right? So let's see what's going to happen. So remove, uh, it's not removing. Remove function is not removing the data according to the index position what you are specifying. So what you can do is L dot remove of remove of 56. Okay. So remove function is used to remove the data if you know what data you wanted to remove. So what is the advantage, what is the difference between pop and remove? So pop function can, if you directly write the pop function without any attributes, it will remove the last value, last element. 
if you know the index position you can use the index position and remove the uh, value whatever you wanted to remove and if you are using the uh, remove function you cannot remove by using the help of index instead by you have to use the data value and you can remove the data okay so if you know index uh, i mean if, if you wanted to delete the data by using index pop function is useful if you wanted to delete the data by the data then use the remove function okay and uh, next uh, is uh, something like a sort function you can use l dot sort function okay so first of all uh, let me show you the m value so this m value right so now let me sort this m dot sort function i will use here so sort okay so now the data has been sorted okay so yeah by the way m is in sorted order all right so okay let me create say for example k is equal to say 15 comma 2 comma 36 comma 5 comma 89 comma 7 okay so something like this i have created and you can see the k value so these are k value so now i will write the sort function sort okay now you see here k when i print this k the data has been coming in the order okay so one more time i will just create it okay so i am rewriting it again so now k so you can see the k value so these are k value right so now if you want to see when i say sort and printing the sort by default i am getting in ascending order right so if i want in descending order so then what i have to do say then so i will do one thing so k dot sort of okay so a reverse is equal to a reverse is equal to true i will write here and say okay and say k see now so this is how sort function will be useful in either way ascending order or descending order descending order if you want to see the data so you have to write reverse is equal to true okay so next is uh, the index position okay so let's let's try to write like this k dot index of uh, say 36 okay so what is 36 index so this is a function which is useful for us to find out i'm sorry uh, find out the index value so whatever the data element you have so by using the data element you need to find out the index okay you can find out the index right okay and uh, we can try with the length function uh, k dot length so this is not coming k dot len function and say length function is not uh, coming can try like this len of uh, say k and check this yes so it means total how many elements are there okay so one two three four five six five elements okay so that's it so these are the very very important functions which are uh, useful for us to work with the list concept okay so please remember one more thing uh, copying of the list is a very very important concept uh, you see here say for example uh, x is equal to k if you write okay so this doesn't mean you are copying the data okay so x is equal to k means so whatever the k value is there so x value is also same see actually you, are, you have not copied the data here you have given another name to k okay you just gave the reference name the reference the new reference name is x the k you have given here okay so this is not called copying okay this is just called referencing so dear students whatever the change you make uh, okay say for example uh, k dot i will show you k dot pop and uh, again one more time k dot pop see so now let me check the k value so this is the k value and let me show you the x value so did you notice here 
so whenever you are making the changes in k automatically those changes are happening to the x then you only tell me how could this is called copying so copying in the sense the if you are changing the original see copy has been uh, you you copied the data you made the changes to original data but in the copied data changes must not happen right so but here it is happening so that's why i say that this is not called copying this is just called referencing so that's why whenever you are changing the k value the x value x value is also getting changed so then how to copy sir i wanted to copy so okay at least now whatever the k value is there okay so this is the k value right so i wanted to copy this k value uh, these values okay so into some variable say for example r is equal to okay in r i wanted to store okay so how to do that so k dot you need to use a function called copy function copy right and say enter okay now you say k and now you see r right so now let me pop two more values okay so k dot pop and k dot pop so i remove two values and now see k so this is the k right okay only two elements existed now you see r say four values are existing okay so this is called copying so this is how you will copy the data by using the copy function okay and finally i would like to show another function called clear function r dot clear okay so before that let me show you r these are right r dot clear function if you use so what will happen is it is going to clear i mean your list will be there but the data inside r not there okay so it's an empty one so that's all about the functions which are useful for you uh, to start with the python's list concept very very important uh, all functions please write down in some paper and have a practice have a practice and if possible try to find out some other options which are uh, uh, in, in these functions which i explained okay right thank you all of you if you have any doubts please uh, get back to me thank you and have a good day